Hello guys, today I'm gonna repair this uh, electric infrared cooker that has a problem with the touching panel. As you can see here, I already plugged the power and when I press the button, the touching panel is not working. And sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not working. There are uh, several possibilities for this. I'm gonna open it and explain it to you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first possibility is uh, we need to clean this surface. Maybe it's covered with oil or uh, some dirt, some uh, grease. This is a glass. So maybe the glass covered with something. So you need to clean it. That's the first solution. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Careful, there's a uh, rotary selector cable here. We need to unplug first. Okay, the, the second possibility is the touching panel uh, holder. As you can see, we have two screws here. The holders made from plastic. Sometimes it, it is broken. I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna show you. See, sometimes the plastic here, the holder is broken for the screws. This day's cooker, especially the electric one, is not made for last forever. The plastic is not a heat resistant, although maybe this one is made from a more heat resistant plastic, but uh, in the long term, it will be broken itself for the holders. So the position for the touching panel will be like this, like this because the screw sometimes loose or the position is not right that's the second possibilities and yeah, these days cookers are made not to last forever for example, I already buy this uh, metal base cooker but unfortunately, the inside is still plastic they are using plastic, I don't know why, because uh, maybe it's cheaper to produce or anything else or maybe they are just want us to buy another cooker every several years. I already fixed this, the holder, the screws holder, the two screws holder are broken so the control panel position is not correct so it will be hard to push. And the uh, number three reason it's it is maybe from the component itself there's a failing components or uh, most of the case we need to resoldering all the uh, component legs for this ic or this uh, we have another ic here we need to resolder the legs because after several years there will be some oxidation going on or uh, corrosion from the legs it will causing the cracking or uh, losing connection from the uh, ICs and other components. So usually I resoldering all the uh, legs. You can see maybe from the tin color that is getting gray. It's mean that oxidation going on and make sure all the connection are good. And if you want resoldering all these legs, you need the good tin for soldering uh, I think this one is good alloy 60 by 40 alloy and uh, tin composition okay let's get started okay I'm using this uh, soldering wick and flux space so it will be easier to clean okay we're gonna put some flux space And let's clean it with uh, alcohol and cotton bud. And we can trace. This is the one is hard to push. 
As you can see, I found uh, some corrosion from the lines. This one is corrosion, this one corrosion, this one corrosion, and this one is corrosion. We need to check with multimeter if this uh, line is still connected or not. Okay, I'm doing continuity test to check the connection. Here, 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 here. Going here. Yes, we still have a connection. Check here from this one. Yes, we have connection. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, resoldering this IC legs. All the legs. Maybe there's a corrosion going on or oxidation. I'm gonna replace the soldering tin. Also this spring touch sensor. And this leg going to the IC. Okay, let's try to test this. This is the rotary selector. Don't forget. Okay, the touching point is working again for this uh, infrared cooker. After I resoldering uh, the legs, especially these icy legs, as you can see, I give a new tin solder to the legs. This is IC is TM1628. This is a LED controller driver. I already soldered this two the legs from the uh, programmable IC. Also, I soldered the, the cable connection. I resoldering all the legs. But the last action that I did is resoldering this IC is making the cooker touching panel is working again. So this is the problem, the main problem. So I think the touching panel problem came from this uh, IC leg soldering. Maybe has a oxidation or corrosion or a cracking joint I don't know but I resoldering all the uh, IC's legs for the TM1628 the LED controller driver and everything is working again now for the touching panel so yeah uh, that's it thank you for uh, watching this video guys don't forget to like subscribe and sharing and support me for making more video for the future thank you for now see you again in my next video see you bye bye